or in this case, in the middle of it. <laughs> the uh, beauty of devotionals, and in this case, evotionals, is the recognition that God doesn't operate in our time frame or time zone. He has his own schedule and his own way of being who he is without there being the necessity of time because time was created in this dimension that we live in we are beings that exist in this i guess you'd say fourth dimension because there's time but there is beyond us even more so a spiritual dimension and the reality is is there's probably as they teach us in quantum physics a seventh eighth and ninth dimension that would go beyond what we understand it now the interesting thing is that there was a man a rabbi who came up with the dimensions without studying mathematics and he came up with it from just studying genesis that's interesting i've looked at that passage and i have no clue how he came up with it <laughs> that's way beyond me even the, I mean, I, I can, I can conceive of how dimensions work and how they could be existing here without us being aware of them, and that's no problem because we have, you know, like 3D. People are into 3D now, you know, and people don't understand the fourth dimension yet because they're still struggling with just 3D and kind of blowing their minds. But I can understand in science fiction more dimensions because that's where God really is—is is that He's beyond just our limited one or two dimensional, three-dimensional thinking, he exists beyond that. And because he created all of them, he is absolute in being ex extant or existing in all of them. So, for me, <laughs> I don't worry about what time it is, because he's in all time and no time. And whatever time it is, it's the perfect time for God. <laughs> that was kind of like a long way around to get to say what I said. Enjoy what you are doing. Is that the right one? I think it's no matter what. For you shall go out from the spiritual exile caused by sin and evil into the homeland with joy and be led forth by your leader, the Lord himself, and his word with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. From Isaiah 55, 12. Peace is not dependent upon circumstances. Our peace and joy are found in the Holy Ghost, Jesus said. He who believes in me, who cleaves to and trusts in and relies on me, as the scripture has said, from his innermost being shall flow continuously springs and rivers of living water. But he was speaking here of the Spirit, whom those who believed that trusted and had faith in him were afterwards to receive, from John 7, 38, 39. No matter what is going on today, you, you can drink from the well of joy through the indwelling presence of God's Spirit. The wonder and the beauty of that is that it's not our well, it's his wellspring that is springing forth out of us. It's not our digging or our structure that keeps it and contains it, but it's him bringing it forth out of us. We are simply the vessels that contain it. So it's not so special that you might think you're somebody unique and different and got some great gifting or calling, but rather it's God in you who has enabled you to be used as a certain kind of vessel to hold that which is holy. Just like this cactus has a decorated pot and it's designed for the cactus. So too, this, uh, these pots behind me have holes in the bottom so that the water can filter down out and not drown the roots and cause root rot. You too are a pot. That's all you are. You have been made a vessel. 
you contain that which is holy and then God works through that by using your vessel for his glory. So whenever you, a man thinks that he is anything at all, he really is nothing. So I don't get too carried away about when people look at me or think of something and say, oh, you know so much, and I'm like, nah. -uh. Or like today I heard, I think, three times little challenges for my ego came up and said, oh, you man of God, and I said, no. I'm not a man of God. I'm a man with God, and someday I may be a man of God, but for now, I'm just a Jesus gypsy that hangs out with tramps and thieves. Because <laughs> I know where I come from, and I know where I'm going, and I know where I'm at today. And I'm just a sinner saved by grace like you are. So, if anyone, you know, wants to think that they're more than they are, you know, all they need to do is look in the mirror of the Word of God and they'll realize they're nobody special. Because as soon as you think you've got something unique and different, just remember, God could use the donkey next door instead of you. <laughs>